Good morning, former Commissioner of Police Gary Griffith. It's a pleasure. Well, I mean, the country is waking up this morning where the Prime Minister has confirmed he was the high-ranking official who met with Police Service Commission Chairman Blitz Tifasa at President's House and provided her with information with respect to you, the then Police Commissioner. Well, this is... Um, please, shed some light on this. Well, okay, well, well, you know, um, good morning, Trinidad and Tobago. Um, this is ideal. Um, it, it couldn't come at a better time. Um, this was obviously something that he hoped that would be used as a distraction um, to, um, after the country is looking at the career fiasco. Um, this is actually going to backfire. It started with, we have to understand the assignment. As soon as you saw a report that comes from Maria Tate, Maria Tate is, seems to be now the public relations officer for Keith Rowley. Anytime um, Keith Rowley wants to get anything done in a positive manner to him, or to have anybody discredited that is anti his government, Rhea Tate will do an article. Rhea Tate has not been able to put anything negative on Keith Rowley or the PRM government. So once you see anything published by Rhea Tate, you know that that was the assignment. And the, the second thing, when it says he listed the words by Keith Rowley here, it is, you cannot be more comical than this. This man has the audacity to say that I, about how I deal with the public. This is the Keith Rowley who spoke about women um, telling us that it is their fault for the men that they choose. This is a man who's telling the country don't jack, um, jackass the scene. A man who is totally disrespectful and, and as Patrick Manning stated, an individual who sees hate and animosity at all times when he cannot get what he wants. And he has the audacity to speak about me as Gary Griffith about how I deal with the public. And, and I think this is what this whole thing is about. This has to do with Keith Rowley having been intimidated and fearful of the fact that an individual had 89% national support which is two times more than him as a prime minister, and the jealousy kicked in. Um, it, the, the point is, is that if a prime minister is disappointed in a commissioner of police, your disappointment has kind of be personal. You have to look at the performance of a commissioner of police where 89% of the public in the same CCN independent poll wanted me to return or had no issues with me returning. Every crime was reduced by over 35% including murders. That's what you look for from a prime minister if you want to judge a commissioner. It was the highest reduction in decades. Criminologists said it was um, due to COVID, but since I left, it was been the highest spike in crime that we have seen. So we have moved from 350 murders per annum average when I was when I left to over 600. Public trust and confidence in the police moved from 14 to 55 percent. Every annual assessment I did by the PSC was excellent in almost every one of the 77 grades. This is what you will think the prime minister will grade a commissioner at. He has disregarded all of this, and now because of his personal attitude towards me. We are now seeing bloodshed never before seen in the history of this country. And he must be fully responsible for it because he has bypassed grades, assessments, polls, crime stats because of his own personal agenda. So when he speaks again about me playing the fool, let me clarify what his playing the fool is. Uh, he is his concern about me playing the fool is that he figured that this would be a commissioner of police that would direct and would adhere to any instructions given by a prime minister. When the marks start a button, I start to explain to the country what pay the fool was. Is when Gary Griffith explained that a, that uh, AV drilling was a matter still ongoing, and I kept asking for funds for an engineer to verify the alarming info we received that if accurate, someone could have been arrested. He refused to do so. This is an individual who imposed foreign police officers in their 70s and 80s who were using Betamax videos to investigate the DSS matter without my input. This was a prime minister who tried to direct me to arrest, and uh, sorry, to suspend certain police officers. This was a prime minister who tried to influence me to arrest citizens in breach of their constitutional rights. This is a prime minister who selected specific foreign attorneys to target and arrest political opponents. And, and but I could not get a cent from Colin Inbert to run a 7,000 man, 120 uh, station, 2,000 vehicles. I could get a cent for six months every fiscal year to pay basic bills. But they will slip $35 million into the police account and tell me that money is to be used to hire foreign attorneys to specifically arrest political opponents. That is what Keith Rowley has a problem with when he says that I was playing the fool. So what he has done is that, and to, and to show the audacity and the hypocrisy of this individual, this man changed the law for me to act as commissioner of police. So all this nonsense about how he was disappointed in me and I was playing the fool. That so-called Barrington report, which is an individual 
schools for the last uh, his, his last tenure was to collect these suitcases for ministers when they arrive at JFK. He probably never saw a shooting range in decades. But he but Keith Rowley pinpointed Barrington to do a report. Barrington submits a report to Keith Rowley. And after the Barrington report, Keith Rowley still then tells Paris Alwari to amend the law for Gary Griffith to remain as Commissioner of Police and to act as Commissioner of Police when my term ended. So all the red herrings he's speaking about, uh, about him being disappointed and me playing the fool and all of that, it is, it is a total um, lie, fabrication, yeah. because yeah. he amended the law for me to act. Well, Mr. Griffith, what, what stands out, and, and you're talking about the fact of disappointment, he says that, yes, Griffith has been a huge disappointment. He demonstrated all the negatives in a substantial way, and his discontinuation with the office did not come overnight. I, meaning him, had an opportunity and reason to speak to Griffith on a number of occasions while he was serving as Commissioner of Police because he was going off track. And one of the first tracks he went off was that he always had this attitude that he is not going to recognize the ministers of national security or the presence of a minister. And as head of the cabinet, I couldn't tolerate that. Right, right. So Keith Rowley is a blatant liar. For him to have the audacity to say that, I would be speaking to Stuart Young dozens of occasions every single day. What happened? So for Keith Rowley to say that, I have all the calls, the messages with myself and, and Stuart Young on a regular basis. So this prime minister has deliberately misled the country by giving false information, in, and, and that, that shows the character of this individual. What it shows, however, is the stupidity of Keith Rowley not to understand his role and function as a prime minister. I have worked with three prime ministers before. As, as their right hand, Patrick Manning, Basio Pandey, and Kamala Prasad Bissesto. And the role and function of a prime minister is to have constant direct interaction and communication with a commissioner of police. The man is so clueless he did not understand that, but because he is lazy and he does not want to work. Because the fact is, a commissioner of police is not like a state board uh, gentleman. It's not like a state board member where you, where you just report directly to your line minister. A commissioner of police must interact on a regular basis with a prime minister in similar uh, manner to how the NYPD commissioner will live constantly with the mayor of New York City. Because the commissioner of police does not have a loan for him to be successful in his job. He has to have direct interaction with many other arms of the, of the state, whether it's education, health, um, sport, the social, um, the social development, um, tourism. So that is why a commissioner always has to be living constantly with a prime minister. But because of his ignorance and not understanding his role and function, he just said, well, pass that one to the, to, um, Stuart Young and I just deal with everything with him. It could not work that way. So Kamala Prasad Bissesta, Basio Pandey and Patrick Manning were fully aware they knew their role and function as a prime minister. This man is totally clueless. And let me add, um, where he misunderstood the, the role of the National Security Council. He kept speaking to me, giving some type of directive as the National Security Council had some operational authority. They do not. The National Security Council simply has uh, policy making, but he continued to believe that as, as the NSC, he could direct. And again, this is what all this is about, is that the Prime Minister uh, became intimidated. He became jealous of the fact that an individual had two times more national support than him. And this commissioner was not going to be a puppet to be directed by any politician to focus on any investigation because of political influence. Let me ask a question. Yeah. Uh, uh, one, one quick thing. Um, based on the incident that happened whereby a manslaughter took place or the death of four people or if they go... And the slow investigation or non-interaction when it comes to the police service. You being the, the police commissioner and the incident happened at Pretoria where these people lost their lives. Where Coast Guard saying this, this next one saying it's not them and everybody just a right? What what was the what is the police role here? Because I believe at this point in time the government acting like police. We investigating this and when it's death involved here so is this not the role for the commissioner of police or the, the the police uh the police service and the whole to deal with and investigate or the politicians or the 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 the, the, the pariah company or what how that go how that is go because we have debt in it okay sure all right so how this works is that again this government keeps only feels that people are stupid anytime he wants 
to have results of something that he wants, he will form what is known as a committee. And he will appoint persons who might be closely aligned to him and they will give results and findings based on what he wants. So every single time there's a situation where it was the Coast Guard um, shooting of the, of the child, where it was uh, dealing with firearms, everything he will try to set point a committee. Now, in this situation, what happens here, it shows again the failure by this government to deal with policies that came from the previous administration. There was a national operation center that if it is that there was that, well, that was working properly and effectively, it ensured immediate communication between different arms of the protective services 24-07. Kamala Prasad, which the government, they implemented that at 75 million US. This is something that was, that is being used now by the, by New York for, um, to see the ball drop on New Year's Eve, for Carnival in Notting Hill, um, anything that is a major situation, that is used. So if, they, if this was properly used, within minutes, the Coast Guard would have had the proper information, the Ministry of Energy would have, there would have been a representative that would have fed the information to Coast Guard, and you would have had an immediate operational plan. Because of the failure for communication, which is what we actually saw during the national blackout as well. The national blackout, the country was not aware of anything that was going on, because Stuart Young foolishly stated that they, they handed it over to Tech to communicate with the public. It shows you how backward this government is. You have this system that could have been used, that could have saved the lives of these individuals, because what was needed in a situation like that is immediate communication, immediate operational plan, to have an immediate um, re reaction to it. Everyone sat back, they twiddled their, their, their systems, and this is what ha in the Commission of Inquiry into the attempted coup. This is why they recommended a National Operations Center to prevent what happened in 1990. And this government has shut it down, slipped it into the SSA to spy on macro and persons instead of being used as a communication platform to ensure we have a proper operation. So that again shows the ignorance of Keith Rowley and the foolishness by them being petty when it is you shut down and dismantle national security assets. So uh, our police investigation and all that, this will go along the world, well, and gentlemen, as this situation that we go back to with what Keith Rowley spoke about. Never before in the history of this country have we seen such a massive abuse of power by persons in the highest office. And for seven months, the acting commissioner of police has refused to investigate one. We have government ministers in the National Security Council leaking reports of this of these firearm reports to the media. Under the Proceeds of Crime Act in tipping off, they have now broken the law. They, they, they have refused to investigate that. We have a situation with a senior government official who has now contacted an independent body to try to influence threaten or director to withdraw a merit list. That is misbehaving office. We have a president that refused to adhere to the law by forwarding the merit list to parliament as she should have done. We have a, a PSC chairman who went and tried to suspend a certain commissioner of police illegally without the approval of the PSC. That is sedition and misbehavior in office. And all of these things, it has not been touched by the police. And we have people like the Law Association of Trinidad and Tobago that have not said a word about it. This shows that we have, what we have in this country is dictatorship via democracy. Because we have a fraud constitution that allows the prime minister to operate like a dictator. Thank you very much. Yes. One minute. And secondly, before you go, yeah, go ahead, Mike. The, he said that the prime minister said he had a problem with the way that you dealt with the public. And he had to continue on that. And he said that, but I, I couldn't tell, he couldn't tell you how to commission, but I can tell him that the way he's dealing with the public was not one expected of a commission of police. And of course, there was the issue of him disrespecting the office of the prime minister. Hmm. This man is, you know, he feels that he's some kind of a god that nobody could tell him anything. I know many of his cabinet members. I know many state board officials. They are fed up of Keith Rowley is how he speaks to people, how he directs. Notice everything this man says. I have instructed the minister and I have directed this minister. The man feels he's a dictator and he feels that he can say what he wants, speak how he wants to people. So to have the, the hypocrisy of this individual trying to talk about me, about how I deal with the public, I, gentlemen, could walk, I could walk anywhere in this country and be accepted. Keith Rowley cannot do that. He cannot even do that in his own constituency. Last night in Carnage, there were two to three hours of traffic going both ways throughout the day because of one pothole in the road in his constituency. This man has never even walked in his constituency. The public does not like him. How he speaks to the public, how he speaks to the media, he has no respect.
respect. So he is the last person that could speak about how I interact with the public. I could go anywhere in, the, in this country and I have two times more national support than Keith Rowley. Keith Rowley has to depend on being a PNM leader to have support. He doesn't have the respect at all of this country. And you know what? Keith Rowley, as I close, gentlemen, Keith Rowley was so busy trying to ensure that I do not become commissioner of police. It is time now that I will, I will not be too important about the commissioner of police. It is Keith Rowley's eternal for now. Oh, God. Thank you so much.